There is still disquiet among public sector trade unions despite a meeting with Prime Minister Andrew Holness today. A release from the Office of the Prime Minister stated that Mr. Holness called for consideration and understanding from the unions in the ongoing wage negotiations. TVJ's Herman Green has the latest. The release from the Prime Minister's office was headed, creative solutions can be brought into the mix. That mix being to restart stalled wage negotiations that have been going on for over a year. The Prime Minister said Wednesday's meeting was in response to calls from the various bargaining units and to ensure everyone is on the same page. President of the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, JCTU, Helen Davis White, says she was not expecting the Prime Minister to make any offer, but instead to address negotiating concerns. We felt that negotiations were being constrained and we needed to have more flexibility and creativity employed. And that's exactly what the Prime Minister indicated, that he would issue instructions to the team from the Ministry of Finance to ensure that they restarted the negotiations with the individual bargaining units and that efforts would be made to try and develop creative solutions. Mrs. Davis-White says with these directives, the union is expecting that negotiations will restart as early as next week. But with the government's 6% increase over two years being the sore point of the wage talks, is a better offer now expected? I was aware of hope, but <laughs> that is the most I can say. In fact, he has issued instructions of flexibility and creativity. I believe that from the union standpoint, we would have indicated to them that we believe that an improved offer would not, would not be real, the, the economic program, and we are prepared to put those fingers on the table and, and, and show them that that is the case. And so we will see what happens when we get bargaining table. However, not all union representatives were as optimistic. Nurses were arrested prior to the meeting, and president of the Nurses Association of Jamaica, Carmen Johnson, says today's meeting has provided nothing to appease her members. We have been given up since 2014, and I will even look at from 2010 when we have been asked to sacrifice, and we have been doing that. But in the long run, we have always been doing about how do we as the public sector persons or nurses per se benefit from what we have been giving up even to this point. And that itself wasn't articulated clearly to us today. In the release, the Prime Minister stated that a Ministry of Finance team will be moving quickly to reach a resolution. Herman Green, TVJ News.